All right, well, this is going to be our, our bottom board, and this is going to be our sound board. The uh, ideal for the sound board, I like on um, most of my instruments, is one eighth of an inch or a little bit thicker. Um, when you get these, when you get these boards, they come in quarter inch. Um, pine, the pine is almost, almost a half of an inch. Um, but uh, we'll leave it kind of thick because it's just going to be for the support of the instrument in the back. The walls, the walls um, are um, tell Harpa. It's kind of thin in the back and we don't want it to warp over time so the thickness will add support to the body and add a little bit more girth to the instrument. Um, if I was really worried about it I would I would plan um, route it out and give it a little bit of extra room for the soundboard but uh, it's not that crucial. Three quarters of an inch is plenty enough good for a soundboard. You can get a lot of sound out of that uh, three quarters of an inch. Anyway, this is going to be our back. This is going to be our front. I'm going to use my uh, power planer and plane them, plane this. I'm best going to just plane, plane this down just a little bit. Um, I actually probably plane this down to a, a quarter of an inch and then plane this down to go for a shoot for one eighth of an inch. So working with power tools has its benefits and makes stuff a lot faster and easier, but it has its drawbacks too. So um, power planner, desktop planners has its own pluses and drawbacks. Plus is that I planned this down pretty quick. If I'd done this by hand, it would take me probably 20, 20 minutes of uh, planning and sanding. But Power, you know, power planners have its own necessary drawbacks as well, because it has this thing called snipe. And what snipe means is that when the board's going into the planner, it bites down into it and then comes back up as the board starts moving. So you get roughly almost about two inches of extra cut besides your main surface, right? And it's called snipe. You see that line going across the board? I don't know how well you can see it. You might be able to see it on this end right here. That's the snipe. That's where it bit down into the board and before it started pulling it. Ideal, ideally, when you're building something and you don't want to do all the sanding with the snipe, if you give you two more self of inches on each side of that board, you don't have to worry about snipe. You can just cut that off and deal with it. This board is exactly the length, so I'll have to, I'll have to sand this down. Try to sand that lip down right there. Um, if I had a I lost so many tools in the 2016 flood. I'm just, I'm, um, you know, I'm trying to sell a couple of these instruments and get some of my tools back. Basically, uh, if I had my uh, my metal uh, uh, scrapers, I'd just scrape that lip off right there. Probably have to get, order me some, and uh, that make that. I'm just gonna have to hand hand um, just good old hand sand that down. You gotta be perfect. I'm just trying to make it less noticeable. That's all. On that right there, it's already less noticeable. Just a little bit, a little bit of sanding goes a long way. Yeah, see, it's already less noticeable. It's almost, almost, almost got it done right there. Anyway, a few extra sanding on each side. Um, 
I stopped roughly about a little bit. It looks like about a quarter on the, on the backboard. That's be fine. You can really see it on the backboard. See it right there? The backboard, but that ain't going to matter. I'll, I'll sand that down as well. Uh, I planned, I left the back of it. I didn't plane the back of it. I just planed one side so I have a very smooth surface when I go to glue this down. Take this, find the side, the smoothest side I got, and we'll uh, put our instrument on top of it right there. Yep, yep. We'll mark out our, uh, we'll mark out our instrument. Let's see, yeah. Yep. Perfecto, perfecto. We'll mark out our, trace out our instrument right here. Get our basic pattern of the, on the backboard. Cold front came through, got a lot of wind outside. Planting these boards down, man, and the scraps of wood's going everywhere. I got it all over me. Move over here to the drill press. <clears throat> what we do is we'll uh, we'll drill we'll drill some holes in it to put the uh, jigsaw in it, and make it easier to cut out. I'll look. That's my way of cutting this out. Might not be the best way, but it's my way. Uh, nope. Got lucky. Got lucky. Fighting into it weird. Strange, the board kept jumping up on me. Might be time to sharpen my bit. Bit might be dulling out. Got my ear protection. be able to hear the instrument when I'm in my 60s so I always wear ear protection
One thing I learned is cutting these tight corners like that, these good corners, not only turn the jigsaw, but slightly turn the board while you're cutting, and at the same time be turning the jigsaw and the board uh, counterclockwise, and it, it makes it makes cutting these corners a lot easier. Got the hand part, got the hand part cut out. Um, these parts right here, I'll probably cut out on the bandsaw. A bit easier than trying to level level this thing. All right, well, it's looking good. I um, I cut the sides out on the uh, bandsaw and used my disc sander and sanded it, uh, uh, shake them. So we have the back, we have the back pretty much done and thick as this is right here quarter of an inch I don't feel the need that it's going to need uh, any uh, braces now if I, if I had if I had planed this down I don't my planer planer go right down to like one eighth of an inch and then it'll uh, not quite one eighth of an inch but it'll get pretty close and uh, anything that thin uh, basically you're going to need uh, braces but this would be thick enough. This instrument is thick enough on this wood. It, it won't need braces. I'll probably, I'll probably, hmm, I'm definitely gonna put a sound post, a sound post on it. But uh, um, and probably I'll put a uh, on the soundboard. I'll probably put a base brace. But that's about it. I don't think you're just gonna need any braces. So we got this. We got this pretty much, pretty much done. So we'll get, we'll get this glued on here next. And go ahead and get that on there. Then we'll move on to the next spot. Yeah, it's super windy outside.
Let's get in here right here. Some places tend to soak up glue more than others. 